Hey gang, Primal Punch here. Django here. Let me make sure this is recording. Uh, yeah, we're recording. We're recording. I'm kind of a dipstick with the camera stuff. All right, so this is uh this is a review, a uh, very short term review. It should get you out of the wind of uh, the Rubbermaid 7.5 cubic foot big wheel cart. All right, and I've been using this, it was on sale, got it from Tractor Supply, and I've done about 70 to 75 100 pound loads, minimum 100 pound loads, moving the wood chips, spreading it out on the property. So I just wanted to do a quick review on this, and I wanted to do it in comparison with a wheelbarrow, which this is not, all right? They call this a feed cart. Um, so, first thing, it's made out of durable structural foam, alright? But to me, it has a look of um, a fiberglass type or a glass type, uh, um, maybe a poly mix or something. You see, it's nice and thick, heavy duty, maybe uh, 5 16 inch, inch thick, and like that. But here's the deal. I did a bunch of loads and my hands ended up shiny where I was gripping the, the grips, which is why I put some grip tape on there. I, I didn't like that. I don't like that transference, all right? It skeeves me out. So that's, that's a minor issue. Um, and it doesn't dump like a wheelbarrow. You don't have that brace up front. So... I'd really recommend not tipping it to the side. I, I'm not going to do that because you see how big these tires are. And while that's good for getting around in some uh, different terrains and everything, having that good good uh, clearance, it's going to put a lot of leverage if you have, you know, 100 pounds in there and you tip this on one wheel to try and dump it to the side well look at the distance between the axle and the end that's leverage so it could geek that uh, that axle okay so I really wouldn't recommend that I'm gonna show you how I've been dumping and it's worked for me and this just takes an enormous amount of material alright so compared to the wheelbarrow that I had and I already don't even know where it is my wife confiscated it she, she confiscates a lot of stuff um, ah here it is down here all right so we're gonna wheel down there and I want to make apologies for the wind we'll wheel over there now this of course was a smaller wheelbarrow I misremember what the the load was but I think it was something like um, you know two and a half cubic foot or something like that so you can see the differences much more stable when this is placed you don't get it where it rocks if I toss a fork of uh, wood chips or a shovel full of dirt in there and it hits the side it can tip that if it doesn't have you know several shovelfuls in there um, you're a normal wheelbarrow but for dumping it's got that brace bar at the end ahead of the wheel you see that and so dumping is much easier you can dump and drop but on this it's a little bit more difficult but I'm gonna show you how I've been doing that and it works well for me so let's roll back up again this is just first impressions I've done it about 70 to 75 100 pound loads with this bugger I wanted to get out here and let you guys see this before the wind got got rough you know what we're gonna have to scooch over here because I need a place to set you guys It's really super sturdy. I'm digging it so far. Um, I have no complaints. It, it just seems rugged, really rugged. And I'll show you the the bottom of it and everything. I didn't want to put you where the sun's going to be right in your eyes. Let's see here. If we angle you this way, let's see how that looks. That looks like that'll be okay. Cool.
I'm not gonna worry about I'm not gonna worry about filling up a full load on this for for dumping. But here's how I've been dumping. Find your spot where you're gonna dump. Maintain your grip. All right. Pull it towards you, and then just kind of walk it out on the corners, and then reverse. Let her down gentle. This has been working for me. Um, I'm having zero issues. And it takes only a slightly uh, longer amount of time to dump than with your normal wheelbarrow. So here's the base. Scope it out. Everything is, is screwed and bolted on so you don't have seams and, and things that are going to go bad on you and I'm going to assume that these parts can be replaced it looks like we've got half inch no five eighths that might be five eighths inch axle and to my knowledge it's solid yeah see this this isn't just a structural foam I think that there's some kind of uh, you know if not fiberglass, something similar, something fibrous. Because again, of that transference to my hands. And then this part is attached. So it's really, really rugged. I mean, just rock solid. You can, you can feel it while you're using it. It maneuvers really easy. And now again, okay, in comparison with using this in lieu of a wheelbarrow, um, one thing you're gonna notice, with a wheelbarrow, you've got one wheel so whatever terrain you're just going to follow the terrain now this one you need to be mindful of where your tires are because you'll get that that tip or you'll just get bogged in so you need to know you know where you're at at all times so that's just a quick little review in case you're thinking about getting one you're on the fence because they're on sale right now at several places um, I got mine from tractor supply but there's several places that have them for sale right now and like that just a good good piece of gear I'm really happy with it I've managed to make some really great progress where with the wheelbarrow I was making four trips to every one I'm making with this so it has really sped up and made more efficient my uh, my work around here so that's it, gang. I just wanted to share that with you, okay? And I'm really sorry about the wind. It's, it's been just, uh, it's been kind of ridiculous lately. Been a little, little overdone. Mother Nature, she just, it's enough now. It's time for her to chill out and just give us some rain and take the wind back. So that's it. The Rubbermaid Commercial Products, seven and a half cubic foot, big wheel cart. All right. Um, I think everybody's got that. Home Depot, Lowe's, everyone. And if you look at the cost of wheelbarrows, for one that's got mid-range ratings and reviews, you're paying you're paying upwards of, of 80 to 100 bucks. And it's something that, like that one there, I paid dang, I paid forty dollars for that bugger. And the uh, where the bolts are connected to the frame started uh i'm not gonna walk you under the ladder don't want you to have bad luck <laughs> um here that'll get us out of the wind a little bit so it started tearing the metal uh metal bed started tearing where the bolts contact uh are connected to the frame and that was in less than than eight months and not even using it like hard at all you know just just uh regular loads around here but, so if you really think about that, that I bought that wheelbarrow less than a year ago and it's already tearing and it's just going to, it's going to pop out on me one of these days. Um, you think about that compared to the price, this is twice the price 
and I'll give you an updated uh, review later on as well okay to let you know how it's performing if I'm seeing um, you know abnormal wear and like that uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that but at this point it just feels rock solid um, it's got zero give and it just goes and goes I've been been moving moving loads of of mulch and wood chips out just spreading them around and I'll be be putting down the bug poison here before long but I've just been making load after load just going fast now with this cart so I appreciate y'all coming by and hanging out with me okay you be good to yourselves hold your heads up high you live free and punch hard and I'll catch you later bye now